I remember the first physical exam that I did on a real person and not a mock patient. It was part of a club that I was involved in medical school called the Homeless Camp Outreach, where in this club, once a quarter, we would get into a motorhome and go where the unhoused population in Des Moines, Iowa was. And we would refill prescription medications, provide basic physical exams, tend to wounds and all of the other medical conditions that come from being unhoused. And the whole process really moved me and helped me to learn things about people that I had never had growing up in a pretty privileged situation. Another part of this homeless camp outreach was just on Sundays, we would go out and take coffee, clean water, fresh batteries, cat food, dog food, clean socks to the unhoused population in Des Moines, where some of them were living all the way through winter down by the rivers, very cold. They're living in tents. They have sleeping bags. I remember speaking to one guy who lived in a small storage unit that he would pay for, and he had to run electricity from around the corner of the storage unit, and he was always living in fear that he would be discovered because clearly they didn't want you living in the storage unit. And it really just helped me to learn more about people. But the whole thing had quite an impact on me that at that time I decided regardless of what specialty I would become as a doctor, I wanted to essentially go and give free care like that. When I became an attending physician and opened my own practice, things were tough for a couple of years and there wasn't a lot of money coming in because I had to pay my staff and patients take time to build up. But then through social media, I was able to accelerate the growth of my practice and my career and I used the income from that that I've now purchased a motorhome. It's like a 35 foot class A motorhome. We've completely gutted the inside of it. We put into exam chairs. I've got a Starlink for internet on top so we can appropriately chart and we are going to go out and start providing care to the unhoused, to people that go to the free and charitable clinics in the area. We are going to go to the women's shelter. We're gonna to go to corporate events. We're gonna provide free skin cancer screenings anywhere that we can, and then follow that up with the full spectrum of dermatology care to prescribe medications, to do surgeries where needed. And then outside of my local area, I wanna go out to rural communities where people may have to travel three, four, five, six hours to see a dermatologist and work with primary care physicians in those areas to help them understand how to better treat skin conditions and follow up with the patients that we see. My goal overall with social media would be if I never had to charge for my services again as a doctor, that I could support myself through skincare education and content on social media. And one of the ways that you can help to support that is by looking at the recommendations that I make here on YouTube and finding those products and purchasing them through the links that I share. It really helps more than you could know. And as we do this and grow this, we will be putting some of that content on social media so that we can educate how to identify skin cancer, how to treat really bad eczema and psoriasis. But I want you to know that never at any time will it be a requirement to appear in a video for somebody to get medical care. I also think it's important for you to know that although the goal is to provide as much free care as possible, there are circumstances as a practicing physician when I am legally obligated to bill for those services. Because I have a contract with Medicare and Medicaid, I have to bill those individuals if I see them. Wherever they live at, if they qualify for Medicaid, I have to bill Medicaid for that. It's illegal for me to charge some people and not other people if they have those insurances. And that can be true for some commercial insurances as well. There are ways to activate financial hardship waivers and we'll absolutely be doing that when it is appropriate. But not only will we provide free care to as many people as possible, but simply provide care to individuals who otherwise might not be able to access that, even if they have the ability to pay for it. Now, it will take some time, but my goal is that this can become something that allows me to only provide free care and maybe someday to be able to opt out of all insurances and never charge a dime again for the work that I do as a doctor. I do want to thank you for watching the channel and for following the recommendations that I give. I really do read your comments and I appreciate the questions that you send in and I try to answer as many of them as possible through directly replying to you or creating new video content around that. So the more that you support the channel, the more that it helps the mission that I'm on to provide free care and to really find ways to help people in this complicated healthcare system. because. 
I feel like there's only so much one person can do and I appreciate the efforts of my colleagues who do go to Washington and lobby, who do call senators and representatives and who work in healthcare policy in other ways because it's all needed and we all need to help improve this healthcare system that we're in and I want to do my small part in a way that I'm passionate about doing it. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. It would mean the world to me if you subscribed and continued to follow me on this journey. We're going to be launching the mobile clinic in the month of May for Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and I can't wait to show you more about it. I'll see you guys then.